Zucchini stir fry with chicken is fast, easy, healthy, and is ready in 25 minutes. This stir fry recipe with an Asian spin is a welcoming change to bake, roast, or grill the zucchini. It is a brilliant way to turn the humble zucchini into a Chinese restaurant style stir fry dish in no time. You can adapt this recipe to any protein apart from chicken, or just leave out the meat and serve it alongside with your favorite entree. So I'll show you how to prepare this dish in this video. Let's kick things off with the first step, marinate the chicken. I'll divide this recipe into two parts. First, I will marinate and cook the chicken. Then, prepare the vegetables and cook the vegetables separately. And finally, combine both together. Cut the chicken breast meat into thin slices. You may also use chicken thigh meat if you prefer. Marinate the meat with the following ingredients. Light soy sauce. Sesame oil. Shaoxing wine. Some sugar. Some salt. And some ground white pepper. And finally some oil. Massage the marinade into the chicken and keep it in the refrigerator for at least half an hour or longer before pan frying. Heat some oil in the pan, place the chicken meat single layer and pan fry both sides until lightly brown. Keep the heat at low to medium Take a little bit of time. It keeps the chicken meat tender and soft. Remove the chicken and set it aside. And now we move on to prepare the vegetables. Cut off both ends of the carrot and peel of the skin. Then cut it into about 2 to 3 inches sections on the bias. And then slice the carrot thinly lengthwise. Next, the zucchini. I use one green and one yellow zucchini, which makes the dish becomes more aesthetically pleasing. Cut off both ends of the zucchini. There's no need to peel the skin. Then I quartered it lengthwise to remove part of the seeds. You may retain the seeds, but that is only my preference. Cut the zucchini into one inch slice at an angle so that the zucchini pieces look bigger. If you prefer, you can also cut it into wedges. Cut the white part of the scallion into short sections. Ginger, garlic, scallions is the perfect trio to perfume the Chinese stir fry. Cut the ginger into thin slices to let the flavor release quickly. As for the garlic, bash it with the knife and then coarsely chop it. There's no need to mince the garlic as it can burn quickly in the pan. Next, this is wood ear fungus. This is an edible jelly fungus widely used in Chinese cooking. It is usually sold in a dry form, so I need to rehydrate it with water. Soak it in water for about 20 to 30 minutes until it is fully hydrated. It will expand until at least double of its original size. Lots of people like it because it has a unique crunchy fillings in the mouth. Cut it into strips. 
not everyone blanches the zucchini and carrot before stir frying. In fact, you can stir fry both a little longer and the vegetables will eventually become soft and tender. But I like to blanch the zucchini because it can become more crunchy and the color is brighter if I blanch it and shock it with cold water. Blanch the vegetables for about 1 minute or until it returns to a boil. Pour the vegetables into a pot of cold water to stop cooking immediately. Stir frying steps comes in quick succession, so get ready everything to keep things flowing. I start off by sauteing the garlic, ginger and scallion with some oil over low to medium heat until aromatic. Add the wood ear fungus and stir fry it for about half a minute. Next, pour the blanched vegetables, the zucchini, the carrot into the pan and stir fry over medium heat for about 1 minute. You need to season the vegetables, but it is better to keep it simple as zucchini has a mild and refreshing flavor. And it's better not to use too much seasoning that can overshadow the zucchini's natural flavor. So I just use some simple ingredients, oyster sauce, some salt and sugar. Return the pan fried chicken to the pan and give it a good mix. Prepare a cornstarch slurry with 1 teaspoon of cornstarch and 1 tablespoon of water. Drizzle into the pan and keep stirring until the starch is cooked. The purpose of the cornstarch is to thicken the sauce. So stop adding once it is sufficient to thicken it. Otherwise, the stir fry will become too sticky and gooey. Once it is done, dish out and serve. It's time to enjoy. That's how I prepare this zucchini stir fry with chicken. If you like this recipe, I've included it in the description right below the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and give me a like. I'll see you again in some other similar video very soon in the future and bye for now.